All right, guys, back at the lake in for 500. First playable hand I look down at, King, King, 8, 9, single suited. Player to my right makes a 15. I call, and there's three other callers, so we're going five ways to a flop. Well comes 6, 3, 2 with two hearts. Small blind bets 25, folds to me, and I fold. You're looked down at Ace, Ace, King, 8, single suited in the hijack. There's one early position limp. Player to my right makes it 25. I call, cutoff calls, and then the button makes it 125. Back to the player to my right who makes the call. I push over the top, and all three other players go all in as well. So we're going four ways to a run out. Well, out comes King 10 3 with two clubs. Turn brings a pretty awful card in the Queen of Clubs. River gives us some help in the Jack of Spades. So obviously, now only thing that beats us is a flush. And the button shows his hand. He has Ace King Queen Jack for the same Broadway straight as me, and the other two players muck. So looks like we're going to chop it up here. So Ace-10, 7-2, single suited. This is another one where the fourth card makes a huge difference. Obviously, if the two of diamonds is any other Broadway card um, or any kind of, uh, you know, connecting card like an 8-9, even the 6, you know, from later position makes it playable. But here in middle position, this is a fold for me. So here I look down at Ace-King, 10-3, single suited on the button. There's an early position limp. Cut off to my right makes it 25. I call the big blind and the limper call. So we're going four ways to a flop. Well, comes ace jack three with two hearts. When action checks to me, I check, and we're still going four ways to a turn. Turn brings in nine of diamonds. Big blind bets 20. Early position player folds. Player to my right calls, and I call. So we're going three ways to a river. River brings a five. When action checks to me, I decide to go for some thin value and bet 40. Big blind calls, and the cutoff gets out of the way. And I say two pair, and before I could turn my hand over, my opponent turns over ace king seven five. So he rivered the higher two pair, and he's going to take it down. Here I look down at ace-995, double suited in the cutoff. There's an early position limp. Next player makes it 25. I call, and there's two other callers, so we're going four ways to a flop. Well, comes jack-jack-4 with two spades. Early position player leads 60. The original raiser pushes for his remaining 85, and because the action is closed, I know I'm going to see a turn card here for no more than 85. I make the call, and the early position player calls, so we're going three ways to a turn. Quick note about calling with flush draws on paired boards. As you've probably noticed, and I believe I've mentioned a couple times, I don't typically do it as, one, I could be drawing dead. I don't believe I am, but I could. Two, you don't really know which cards you want. You know, like, let's say the turn brings a 10 of spades, giving me the flush. I mean, how do I know that that didn't fill him up? You know, so it does become quite tricky, so I don't do it too often. Turn brings another four. My opponent checks to me, and I check back. So still three ways to a river. River brings a six. My opponent checks. I check back. Early position player turns over his hand. He has jack, 10, 10, 7, and the all-in player mucks. So early position player is going to take it down. Here I look down at ace-8-7-2, double suited in middle position. Player to my right makes it 15. I call, and there's five other callers, so we're going seven ways to a flop. Ball comes ace-10-7 with two diamonds. When it checks to me, I bet 100, and only one early position player calls, so we're going heads up to a turn. Turn brings a three. When it checks to me, I bet 305, and my opponent folds, so we take it down. Here I look down at eight seven six five single suited on the button. Early position player makes it 20. Player to my right calls. I call, and both the blinds call, so we're going five ways to a flop. Well, comes 662 Rainbow. When it checks to me, I bet 55 and everyone folds, so we take it down. Here, look down at Jack 1010 double suited in the hijack. When action folds to me, I make it 20 and only the small blind calls, so we're going heads up to a flop. Well, comes 1010 Rainbow. When my opponent checks to me, I check back and we're going heads up to a turn. I've had a couple situations like this earlier in the vlog where I literally got no action, so hopefully, I can get a different result here. Turn brings a nine of hearts, bringing the backdoor flush draw. My opponent bets 30, and I just make the call. So we're going heads up to a river. River brings a seven, putting a one-liner on the board. My opponent's counting out some chips, and he bets 50. And he's a pretty sticky player. If he has a boat, he's definitely not going to fold. Um, you know, maybe he made a straight. You know, that would be cool. I make it 200, and he thinks for a little bit and folds. So don't really get the big river bet there, but happy to get a little action there on the uh, turn and him bluffing, most likely on the river. Here I look down at ace, king, king, 10, rainbow, under the gun. I limp. There are a couple other limpers. Hijack makes it 30. Button calls, big blind calls to my right. I call, and there's three other callers, so we're going seven ways to a flop. Flop comes queen, 7, 2, with two clubs. When it checks to me, I check. It checks all the way to the late position original raiser, who bets 185. Folds to me, and I fold. 
Thanks for the shot, man. Hey. I'm Wayne. Thanks for Mike, Iman. Iman? Nice yeah. to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Okay. Thanks for taking one at the Mike table. Cole. So that was just me thanking the player a couple seats to my right for buying me a shot. It's not something I typically do, but I kind of wanted to go along with it. Similar to straddling, I had mentioned this last week. You don't want to be the person that ruins it for everyone. So he's there. He's showing up, looking to have a good time. So I took a shot with him. Also, from here on out, as the title will mention, we are playing 5-5-10, which is a straddle. The $20 under the gun blind raise is not live, but, you know, 5 5 10 20 from here on out. This is one of the first hands with the aforementioned $10 straddle and $20 blind raise on. I look down at King-9, 8-5, double suited in middle position. I call. Late position player makes it 70. Two callers to me and I call. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes queen, jack, nine with two clubs. Early position player pots it. Next player pushes for about 500 and I fold. One of the biggest mistakes I made when I first started playing this game is calling way too wide. And I do it occasionally here. I mean like king, nine, eight, five in this situation. Yeah, I mean like $20 is not that bad, but then, you know, calling $70 with it pre-flop. I mean, it's really not that strong of a hand, so. You have to be careful when you have a straddle on or you have a you know loose player such as Iman that bought me the shot. I mean, cool guy, but he's gonna really change the whole table dynamic. And you'll get in a situation where you call one raise and then you make a compound mistake because you kind of sit there and say, oh, I'm priced in. A couple orbits later, I forget that I'm supposed to be the $20 blind raise. I look down at 9966 double suited. I make it 40, folds all the way to the small blind who calls, back to the big blind who makes it 140. I only have about 400 left and this is the same player who bought me the shot. You know, he's V pipping probably like 90% and I just decided to go with it. So I push for 405 and both players call. So we're going three ways to a run out. Flop comes queen six, three with two hearts. Turn brings a two of diamonds, bringing in the backdoor flush draw. River brings a seven of clubs. So pretty safe board for me. Uh, player two to my right turns over queen seven of hearts. I show my hand and the early position player in the small blind shows king, king, queen, seven with diamond. So they both have flush draws and they both make two pair and we're tripling up with a set. I look down at ace, ace, nine, six, rainbow in the big blind. Folds all the way to the button who calls the $20 blind race. Small blind folds to me, I call and the straddler calls. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes queen, queen, seven, rainbow. I check and action checks through. So we're still going four ways to a turn. Turn brings a jack, I check, and action checks through again, so still four ways to a river. River brings an ace, I bet 45, we get one caller, and I turn over my hand, and we're good. So we're taking it down. Here I look down at ace, king, queen, three, single suited in the small blind. Late position player calls, cutoff makes it 40. I call, and there's two other callers, so we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes 882 rainbow, I check, checks all the way to the original razor who bets 60, and I fold. Here I look down at ace, queen, 10, eight, double suited in the big blind. Button calls, small blind calls, I call, and the straddler folds. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes 997 with two hearts. When it checks to me, I check all the way to the button who bets 40. Folds to me, and I call. So we're going heads up to a turn. Turn brings a jack of diamonds. I check. Button bets 100, and I check raise to 400, and he quickly makes the call. So we're going heads up to a river. River brings a seven, which is a pretty good card for me as it reduces combos of full houses. I bet 300 and he thinks a little bit and calls. I turn over my hand expecting to be the winner and he turns over 9743 for the flop boat and he's gonna take it down. I look down at ace, ace, king, five, single suited in middle position. Under the gun makes it 60. When it folds to me, I three bet to 220. Folds all the way to the short stack in early position who pushes for 70 and the original razor re-jams, and of course I call. So we're going three ways to a run out. Ball comes jack seven three with two clubs. Turn brings another seven. River brings a five. So it looks like a pretty safe board. My opponent who I'm on the side pot with says jack. I turn over my hand for the side pot and the short stack who's all in turns over ace nine seven five. So he's gonna win the main pot, but uh, I'm winning the side pot here. My experience, when you have a loose player, such as we do here, that's really driving the action, one of two things are gonna happen. Some players are going to try to play a loose along with him. You know, they see him playing, you know, like nine, three, deuce, deuce, and winning monster pots. So some people are gonna kinda get sucked into it almost. And other players like myself are gonna tighten up because I mean, now with the straddle and the $20 blind raise on, the next player can make it 80, and then the next player after him can make it 280. So these three and four bets just get massive. 
These are all hands I ended up folding pre-flop until I looked down at ace, king, queen, jack, single suited in middle position. So early position limps for $20. Next player makes it 50. Player to my right calls and then I make it 220. Folds back to the under the gun limper who calls and the other two players call. So we're going four ways to a flop. Walk comes king, nine, three, rainbow. Checks to the player to my right who bets 800 over to me. I ended up thinking for a while but ultimately, I just thought that with the SPR less than one, I kind of just had to go with it. So I ended up pushing for less and back to the under the gun limper. He ended up pushing for less as well. And the other player folds. So we're going three ways to a run out. So while the dealer was kind of getting the pot right, I asked the player to my right if he had queen jack 10 because that's just the hand I put him on after thinking for a while, and he told me yes. So that's good news there. I'm not sure what the other player has, but we're going to a run out. Turn brings another three. River brings a seven. I know you can't see it there because I zoomed in too much. And player to my right doesn't really want to turn over. I turn over my hand, and then the early position player turns over his. He has nine, nine, four, four, double suited. So he flopped a set, turned a boat, and I was drawn dead. So he's going to take it down. What's up guys, Wayne back here with you. So today I was in for 500, out for zero. Uh, biggest stakes of my life, really fun game. Guy, couple seats to my right. You know, he offered to buy shots. He was looking to just basically get it all in. So really fun. Um, you know, I decided to leave after just the one buy-in. I played for over six hours, so pretty long for me, uh, or otherwise I would have definitely continued. If you haven't already done so, please check out my previous vlog where I book a solid win. You'll find it up here. And if you guys enjoyed it, I'll see you guys the next time. Take care.